Hello, boys and girls. Today we'll be reading the story of the Three Billy Goats Group. It was retold by Ron Randall, and the drawings were made by Gavin Scott. Once upon a time, there were three Billy Goats Gruff who lived on a hillside near a river. There was Little Billy Goat Gruff, Middle Billy Goat Gruff, and Great Big Billy Goat Gruff. They ate the grass on the hillside and grew fatter and fatter. One day, the three Billy Goats Gruff looked around and saw that they had eaten all the grass on the hillside. What shall we do now, little Billy Goat Gruff? asked his brothers. If we don't find more grass, we'll waste away. There is plenty of yummy green grass over there, said middle Billy Goat Gruff, looking at a meadow on the other side of the river. Yes, said big Bi brother, great big Billy Goat Gruff. All we have to do is cross the wooden bridge and we can eat to our heart's content. But the bridge was guarded by a horrible, ugly troll. He was green with great big head and a bright red nose. There were warts on his skin and hair on his chin, and his terrible teeth were long and pointy and yellow, and he was very smelly. Which one of us will be brave enough to cross the bridge? Great big Billy Goldgruff asked his brothers. The three Billy Goat Gruff all looked at each other. At last, little Billy Goat Gruff piped up, I will cross the bridge, and off he went down the hillside. Trip, trap, trip, trap, he went over the wooden bridge. Who's that tripping and trapping over my bridge? shouted the ugly troll. It is I, little Billy Goat Gruff, that goat replied. Try not to breathe in the troll's horrible smell. I'm just going over to the meadow to eat the green grass. No, you're not, growled the troll. I'm going to eat you first. And he climbed up onto the little wooden bridge. Little Billy Gobruff was very frightened, but he knew what to say. I don't think I'll make a very good meal for you. Can you see how little I am? You should wait for my brother, Middle Billy Goldruff. He is much bigger and fatter than me. The troll thought about it. All right, he said. You may cross the bridge. So Little Billy Goldruff went trip trop trip trop across the wooden bridge and skipped into the meadow. As soon as he saw that Little Billy Goldruff was safe, Great Big Billy Goldruff said to the younger brother, it's your turn now. So Middle Goat Gruff trotted down the hillside. Trip, trot, trip, trot. He went over the wooden bridge. When he was halfway across, the smelly troll shouted, Who's that tripping and trapping over my bridge? It is I, Middle Billy Goat Gruff, said the goat. I am just going over the bridge to eat the green grass with my brother on the other side. Oh, no, you're not, shouted the troll. I'm going to eat you first. And he climbed right up onto the wooden bridge. Middle Billy Gograff was frightened, but he didn't let the troll see that. There's not much meat on my bones, he said. You should wait for my brother, great big Billy Gograff. He is the biggest and fattest of us all, and he will make a much tastier meal for you. All right, said the troll. You may cross the bridge. So Middle Billy Gogruff went trip trap trip trap over the bridge to join his brother in the meadow on the other side. At last, it was great big Billy Gogruff turn to cross the bridge. Trip trap trip trap went his hooves on the wooden bridge. Who's that tripping and tropping over my bridge? bellowed the troll. It is I, great big Billy Goat Gruff. I'm going to join my brothers to eat the green grass in the meadow. Oh, no, you're not, thundered the troll. You are the biggest, fattest Billy Goat Gruff, and I'm going to eat you. And the smelly troll clambered up onto the bridge. 
great big Billy Goldgruff was not afraid of that horrible, ugly troll. But the troll was certainly afraid when he saw great big Billy Goldgruff. He tried to run away, but before he could, great big Billy Goldgruff lowered his head, stomped his hooves, and with his great big Billy Goat horns, he butted the troll right into the river. The troll went under the water with a great big splash. And was never seen again. Then Gray Big Billy Goldruff went trip trop trip trop over the wooden bridge to join his brother in the meadows. All three of them ate yummy green grass. They grew bigger and fatter and happier every day. The end. Okay, boys and girls. After we heard our story of the three Billy Goldruff. Our activity for today is going to be making a bridge. At home, you can use whatever you have. If you have foam blocks, you may use them, or if you have duplos, you may use them. But in here, we're going to be using our wooden blocks. Are you ready? Let's get started. First, we're going to place a small wooden block right here in front of us. Then we're going to place another one just like it right here, leaving some space between. Then we're going to take a third one and put it right here. Again, leaving some space between. Then we're going to take two triangles and we're going to put them together to make a square, just like this. In this square, we're going to place at one of the ends next to one of the small ones. Then we're going to take two more triangles and we're going to try to make a square again using the two long sides. Just like this. And that one goes at the other end. We're working on our base for our bridge. Then we're going to take a big triangle and that's going to go way at the end. We're going to take another big triangle and this one's going to go at the other end. So both sides look just alike. Now we're going to connect our bridge. Our bridge, we're going to take a long block and we're going to put it right on top of two of the middle little blocks. We'll take another long block and we're going to put it right on top of the other two. So now we've connected our bridge, but we have holes we need to fill in. So take two small blocks and just put it right in. That's right. And then one for the other side, a small block. And we'll put it right here. Good. We've made our bridge. Now we could start to play. Using your cutouts, I want you to take the big Billy Goat Gruff and a little uh, block, and we're going to tape them right on the end. So let's get some tape. Take a little bit of tape. We're going to roll the tape. And we're going to put him right here at the end. Remember, if you can't do this, ask a, a grown-up for help. And you're going to place him right here. But he's ready to play with. Now we're going to take the middle go gruff and we're going to do exactly the same. We have the cutout and you have an extra little block. Let's take some tape and we're going to roll it again. This one goes right here at the side, and the middle go grub goes on here. There he is, ready to play with also. Now we're going to take the baby go grub, which you've already cut, and do the same thing with him. We're going to take a little bit of tape, roll it up, place it at the end, and put your baby goat grub there. But someone's missing. The big ugly troll. So we're going to take him and an extra block and we're going to do exactly the same thing. Take tape, roll it up, put it in the side of your block, and put the big ugly troll on it. Now we're ready to play. It goes right here under the bridge. So we take 
our little goats and they're ready to go across. You could retell the story at home. Have fun!